Hey, my name's Melanie Martinez, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with Melly Martinez. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm awesome. I just want to say thank you very much for taking the time to have a chat. This is definitely something we've been wanting to do for a while. So Sweet, thank you for it. having me. First thing I want to start things off on is discussing Crybaby, <laughs> your debut record. Uh, the first thing I got out of it is it's such an emotional and personal album. Uh, you talk a lot about yourself, people you've dated in the past, a lot of people you know. Was it hard for you to initially let down that wall of privacy and just kind of put it all out there for all your listeners to hear? Um, not really, because I feel like it's really hard for me to explain how I feel, like, in person to people, and, like, just in general, I'm not very good at, like, expressing how I feel, but, um, like, writing is kind of, like, therapy for me, so it's really easy to, um, talk about things that I wouldn't talk about, you know, to just anyone, so. Nice. There's a song on the album called Pity Party. Uh, you really tug on my heartstrings on that one. Like, it was something that's relatable to a lot of people. So I was curious, was it written about you, someone you knew, or was it kind of just to get those feelings of, like, anger out there? Um, honestly, like, it was kind of just like, I just wanted to tell the story. It's part of the story of the album. So um, in her story, in Crybaby's story, it's kind of like this turning point for her. Um, and, you know, she kind of gets a little bit crazy after that point, and I feel like it's just a change within the character, really. But, um, yeah, it was, it was really fun to just, like, make up a story about no one showing up to her birthday party. And the video, you pretty much lost control. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. It was so much fun. Was there a favorite part of that? Because you were destroying everything. There was screaming, like, cakes being tossed around. Yeah, the ripping of the teddy bears was probably my favorite part. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I enjoyed <laughs> watching that. It made me want to have, like, my own little set to it's be able to so do so much fun. <laughs> Well, a great thing about the album, another aspect I enjoy, the lyrics have this real, and excuse my French, but it's like this real fuck you mentality to a lot of them. Uh, ones I have here is I can cry if I want to, and whoever said I give a shit about you, they're just really good lines. Uh, so I was curious for those, what exactly drove that passion behind these lyrics? Because a lot of the lines, as I mentioned before, are personal, but they also go back to like, I'm just going to give it to you right now, like be straightforward. Was that the intention? Yeah, I mean... I think that I was just trying to let all of my emotion out throughout the whole entire album and like I'm very honest with like lyrics and stuff like that and um, just because it's really my only time that I have to like actually express how I feel so I just like go I'm all pretty out. straight yeah I'm pretty straightforward. <laughs> And the record, I like doll, the Dollhouse EP. Uh, a lot of the thing was inspired by your love of vintage toys. Mm -hmm. That's right. So I know you carried that on to the debut as well. What are some of your favorite toys, whether the ones you own or ones that you really like? Um, okay, so my favorite ones that I own are my, probably my Rushtons. They're like, they have like really soft, like plush bodies, and then they have like rubber faces. So they'll be like doll faces or like a cat or like a dog or whatever. But those are my favorite, and then I love the squeak toys, and those are kind of like, those are actually like a huge inspiration for, um, I think, the next album that oh, I'm cool. working on. But oh, yeah. something's in the works already? Yeah, I mean, like, I'm just like writing and kind of figuring out, you know, what's going to come next, but um, I'm really excited. There's already like a few songs that I feel oh, really good awesome. about, but... Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and when you're on the road, do you get time to search for new toys? Is that something? Um, yeah, online. Just like okay. when I'm, whenever I'm like in the car <laughs> and, you know, just searching. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. What's been your favorite find? Um, honestly, I have this cute little like, it's like a pulley toy. You know, like the little like duck ones that like follow yeah. you, like pull the string, but it's like a bear and it's called a crybaby bear. Oh my gosh, And it has perfect. like a little tear and it like squeaks every time it like you pull it. It's so cute. Oh, that's great. Nice. Well, of course, you're now touring North America in support of the record. Mm -hmm. Majority of the shows are sold out. I think it's all but, like, two or three left, which is crazy. So I'm, yeah, it's been, it's been really crazy. <laughs> Did you expect that initial response from people, or was it pretty surprising for you? Um, it was definitely surprising. I mean, it's definitely been, like, a big jump from the last tour, so I'm really grateful, you know, for everyone's support and for all the people who have come out to the shows. It's really awesome. When it came to packing for a tour because anytime I see you on stage, you have these incredible outfits. Uh, I was going to get to that in a moment, but uh, what are your essential items that you know you're going to have to bring along with you? Um, honestly, like, I don't really have any. I just, like, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just need, like, the regular, like, things like a toothbrush and, like, all that kind of <laughs> stuff. And then, like, I have, like, stuffed animals. And I have a lot of toys in the car with me. Um, and, like cookies and snacks and stuff in the car and that's really it okay. yeah, I don't know. 
And you take this DIY mentality towards a lot of your videos, and I actually do some of the props for them. You direct a lot of behind the scenes stuff for them. So your outfits, are those things that you also put together as well or create certain things? Um, sometimes, yeah. Um, but I also have a friend, her name is Stella, and she makes like incredible, incredible clothes. Um, and we'll just like collab and I'll just like, you know, talk to her about like cool ideas for like the next like show or the next like performance thing. Um, and she's been recently making like, I have a couple outfits, actually maybe like a few that she um, has made for this tour, so. Cool. Is there a favorite one that you kind of put on or? Yes. Okay, um, which is that? Okay, well right now I like love this, like she, she made me like this two piece, um, like red, like vinyl outfit. Uh, one they have like it has like gold lace or gold trim on it and it's really pretty and then there's like this alphabet jacket so it just has a bunch of like letters all over it um, and it's like iridescent it's really cool oh, that's neat yeah. I saw something from another interview you did I think it was like last summer at South by and it was a shirt it was like furry and it had the alphabet all over yeah, it, it yeah. Was, so it's similar <laughs> to that kind of um, kind of okay. like the patch the patchwork kind of is like similar cool. but yeah <laughs> something I want to bring up is the fact do you call a lot of your fans now babies especially that it comes from Crybaby. Mm -hmm. So going to your fans, because you have this awesome fan base and you're really interactive with them, which is awesome to see from a fan standpoint. Uh, when it comes to the babies, uh, what's one of your more memorable encounters with one of them? Um, I mean, they're, uh, <laughs> they're like <laughs> really, really cool and really awesome people. And like, I think that um, the biggest thing that I find like really interesting is like how talented they are. Like, uh, there's a lot of really cool like fan art that I'll see like online and stuff like that. And like, I don't know, it's like really cool that like the music's like inspiring them or you know, however like the style and the aesthetic and stuff is inspiring yeah. them to create. I think that's really awesome. But um, I actually had um, a girl do fan art. She was like, I mean, she was like sending fan art for a while and I was like in love with her artwork and I started following her and then I actually asked her to do the artwork for the album and oh, she's wow. the girl who did all the storybook artwork for the album. Oh, she originally so cool. did fan art for me, so like it was really cool to like, you know, bring her onto the project and she was like really excited about it and she killed it. She's really amazing. She's like one of my favorite artists. Oh, so. that's really neat. Yeah. Well, to wrap everything up today for your fans who will be viewing the interview, is there anything you want to shout out or say to all of them? Um, I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for all the support. I really appreciate it. And, um, yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and a massive thanks just to you for your yeah, time today. It was really absolutely. lovely. Thank you for having me. Able to do this. My pleasure. And remember, everyone viewing, you can visit us at amusicblog.com for all sorts of interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. See you next time.